<laughs> You'd think the intro would be entering by now. It ain't. Let's hop right into it. So I want this body, I'm so tired of this hard life. Welcome back, my name is Sky. for those of you who are new. Today, we're going into part two of the Juneteenth lookbooks. Today, I'm wearing Vans, yeah, from the boys section. Well, this is from the outlet of the boys section because this was the move in 2018. My shorts, Nike shorts, also from the boys section. I honestly just like the way they looked. Did you say, why do I shop in the little boys section? <laughs> If it fits, it fits. You wouldn't know that if I didn't tell you that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I completely wore this outfit yesterday, but you didn't see me yesterday. So, if you know, you know. If you don't, don't worry about it. So we're just gonna raw dog this John yet again. I went closer to an afro today. These are just some separated puffs. Man, I can do in there anything with these Johns. But I just decided to tuck them behind the ears for the look. Now I could clip my hair back for the makeup portion. The makeup portion. So we can get right into it. So I, I already went through the first video and kind of rough drafted that one. And I'm pretty pleased with what I had. It was definitely enough to be a whole video. That John is like less 10 minutes long. It's looking good, it's looking good. Healthy! Today's look is off the dome yet again. I don't have any inspo, but I am the inspo. I like the conversation from that last video. I don't know when I'm gonna post it, so don't be holding my word for when um <laughs> these looks are supposed to take place. She said I'm weird. You just not figuring that out? Anyways. Um, yeah, we're gonna continue our conversation about black things. What? I kinda wanted to just bring this up to get this off my chest for real because I was kind of talking about how I had like an event, like a Juneteenth event that I was gonna go to. Fumbled the bag on the dates. That John ended up being two days ago and I had no clue. Like it said like Juneteenth, so I'm thinking like, okay, like, mid-june like it's it just started being mid-june for real i completely missed that john it was on the 12th a whole event that i was meaning to go with somebody that day <laughs> like i was fully invited and everything and i just did not show and i wanted to feel bad about it i truly did i like obviously still feel a way about it but like at the end of the day it's like bro i couldn't even tell you where my mindset was that day but as a as a complete whole idea bro it wasn't worth worrying about it like i don't have to worry about it but like a small part of me wishes that i i didn't look so flaky i've been feeling flakely Completely. Yeah, I just feel like a little, like a little overwhelmed with the amount of stuff I wanted to do, the goals that I'm really trying to push myself to achieve. Like I really, I really am finding the balance between not beating the shit out of myself for not, <laughs> for not being able to do it all. Like, bro, take it one step at a time, for real. Like, really, love, like, love, like, like, key, like, hold back, bro. And then I'm like. Am I doing enough? Am I doing it right? That's how people be getting into cults, bro. There, there's a certain amount of people in this world who need like instructions on how to live life for real. And more power to you if you one of them folks. But I know full well I don't have to look like that. Like why am I why am I obsessed over things that I truly do not do not really be on like that? I really wanna wipe this makeup thing, cause this mirror is like too dirty for me. It has all the little look at that unnecessary right and it's just the loose powder from how hard i be dipping into these johns like i really be dipping into these <laughs> but this is because this is my only like makeup palette i know it's controversial but trust me love i one didn't buy it from him directly <laughs> and two it's not like i have another makeup palette babe like when i tell you not only did i buy this second hand but i also only own this one so I definitely have my pick at what colors I want. I want a colorful palette and I want it to be you know, decent in quality. We went from the Jawbreaker from like multiple summers ago. <laughs> Judge me if you want. Leave it in the comments. See, I say that and then really don't even be reading the comments. Black topics. Topics. 
I really would be in a goofy mood by myself. Well, the topics that we really got into last time was really about how we really gotta stop victimizing ourselves as black people. Stop leaning onto the idea that like life is more than just being oppressed. Like, babes. You can you can live better. You can be better. Do better. Live life. Stop claiming the role of victim. Like I don't <laughs> further explain that to what that is, bro. Like if you get it, good, good, good. I don't sound crazy. But if you don't, I'm not gonna sit here and fight you over an idea that you don't have to live life like that. I'm also like really not trying to choose topics that are too controversial, which is all of them. All of the interesting ones I could say. All of the two cents I could really put in bro too much and sometimes that be like directly reflecting on how i feel like i feel like i'm too much because the topic of race in general is too much like people do not really want to get into that with good reason bro people be losing their whole day jobs over stuff like that <laughs> and it's like yo no one can socially make you think a certain way bro they can indoctrinate you they can attempt to indoctrinate you all they want but if you truly think a certain way you truly live a certain way ain't nobody finna stop you and that's what people need to realize bro who finna who finna stop you be for real really think about it too i want a whole legitimate answer after that because you won't have one as far as juneteenth itself like as a holiday babes i don't <laughs> I'm not gonna say I don't care about Juneteenth, but it's like a pity party like type of holiday. Like, I don't, my family don't really even do anything like that. Like, we might do something, but it really is just an excuse to do something. Like, to see the family, to have something to do on a day that's supposed to represent your peoples. And it's like, it's kind of like being a Native American celebrating Thanksgiving. Like, this is for us, but it ain't really for us, you know? And we know that. We don't have to pretend like we don't know that because we do. Black people on a whole, they're hard to talk about because we're just as individual, we're just as widespread of a culture as a people, bro. I hate when people use the term of like, oh, doing extravagant things, like they'll call it white people stuff or white people activities. It's like black people on a whole aren't like the same person. That's like really not understanding that people of all races could be into different activities, bro. Like you're not finna shame me out of knowing how to swim for real <laughs> but it's like any activity that usually costs too much those be the activities that be like oh you want to do that white stuff we leave that walking hiking in the mountains to the white folks why were certain things only allowed for certain people again that's that oppression mindset bro you do not have to accept that you do not have to adopt that you do not have to live on that hill you don't and I get it if you're just comfortable living on that, oh, we're oppressed, oh my goodness, people don't like us. I, I'ma keep on saying that too, cause it's like, bro, get a grip. Are you shocked? Are you shocked that people still don't like you based on something as arbitrary as a skin color? Do you even want to be interacting with those people? Do you want to be friends with people who are obviously racist? Be honest. It's like, no. We form the habit of trying to fit in for the sake of survival, which I don't blame the older generation who still are like working out of that idea of, oh, you need to dress a certain way. You have to have like specific hairstyles in order to look professional. Like don't speak that black lingo type beat. Like black people really went through it. Like if not physically through all the stress of going through that, then psychologically, because you, you still have to get along bro you still have to live life you still have to exist through that and i really feel for the people who did live through that like we would have both been looking silly if we're on a bus and you're trying to tell me i have to sit in the back because of my I truly think I just wouldn't survive that era because, and here's the thing, here's the thing too, like people were made to psychologically survive that era. The freedom thinkers, the, the free type of energy I'm coming at you with saying like, oh yeah, be yourself, like do what you do, like follow your heart, follow your passion, bro, live out your dreams. These weren't legitimate statements that you could have as a black person back in the day, yay, the day, yay. And like, like reality just confirmed that you couldn't have those things and I would never believe I could because why would I?
At what point would it have ever been indicated to me that I could live out my dreams, do what I want, and live life? I'd be so afraid to be myself, which I'm halfway am already. But that's more in a like, that's more in a traditional trying to figure out my identity type thing. Like the identity of myself isn't a question. I know who I am. I just got to figure out where I fit. Cause I know I'm well aware, not everybody will accept me. And I'm cool with that. I just need a place to know where I can go, where I will be accepted. Again, I'm not trying to spend time with people who do not like me. You don't have to know me. You don't have to like me. No, 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 no. It's kind of important to know, okay, like, if not here, then where? If not there, then who? And you know, because of that, I think it's completely fine to like, take the time you need to really identify what type of black person you want to be. <laughs> Cause you have to consider all, all the little things all the like what city am i in what state am i in what type of environment is already acceptable bro like you have to fight with like the past like the convictions of what historically you haven't been able to do for real and what you're allowed to do now and what boundaries you're willing to push because and here's something simple dressing cure okay i'm not sure how to say this exactly without sounding like i just desire to dress like a hoe but like i desire to dress like i'm cute i desire to dress how i aspire to be like just just know that some people think it's a hoe fit okay dressing like a whore and being a bad bitch being a thought and having a hot girl summer and to a degree i think there's a lot of self-conscious women Ugh. I can really go further and further to really explain why it is the way it is with the example of like how women dress, like specifically black women dress. And it just has so many um, details. It has so many qualms that go along with it. Like because black women are, how will say, say, they're made to look a certain way because they're built a certain way. A lot of black women are thicker. Not me specifically, but I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not the, the thinnest. Not the thinnest. Your body type shouldn't have that much say so over what you want to wear. Socially it does. And that's simply because we've been given a lot less options on uh, what's appropriate. Certain hairstyles that just like was never fully approved until we just stopped looking for approval. I cannot tell you how many compliments that I've genuinely received just for wearing my natural hair. And of course I'll say thank you to anybody who genuinely tried to give me a genuine content. But at the same time, it's not like I'm doing the bravest thing. Like it's my natural hair. If anything, it would be an indication that I don't got the type of time or money to be spending on my hair like that. That's what it really is. That's what a smoke really at. I don't have the privilege to be getting braids every four to six weeks. I do not have the extra resources to be buying wigs every month or so. I do aspire to do that. Baby Goyo, that wasn't a choice. That's just what God gave me. I also have to acknowledge that some people don't see it that way. Some people view that like not wearing your hair the way it grows naturally from God is a choice. Like you have to look, look, put together and that means putting your hair away, throwing a wig over it, putting, locking it down in braids. It's like, it's one thing if you genuinely like your hair in that style, you really like it that way, like, but also I don't know how to take that when it's like other black people who will pressure you to be like, okay, what are you doing with your hair? What can you gonna do with my hair? What my hair already doing? Is my hair not already doing what it's doing? That's what I told it to do. That's what it showed me that it was gonna do. Like even like close family members would really have a problem with me just wearing my hair. And they really stopped talking about it when I start bringing up the prices. And who's gonna pay for it? That's when they shut the fuck up. That's when they really stop asking about it. And there's also discrimination amongst how long it is. If your hair is a certain length, people will have no problems with you at all at all <laughs> like the most discrimination i've ever felt around my hair specifically is when i cut it short going from a relaxer to growing my hair out natural and so many people had excess 
potential ass problems with me doing that. Like, ma'am, my hair does not affect you in any way, shape, or form. Why are you genuinely upset at the fact that I cut my hair? Like, that's weird. But like, everyone is gonna be in agreement with you and not me because they also agree that I shouldn't have cut my hair. And it's like, bruh, beyond that just being a thing of the time, like, I truly do not even hold a grudge on people who was treating me like that back in the day because I know now that, hold on, let me hit this off. I know now that they just were never allowed to do that. Like, you had to look a certain way, be a certain way, fit in a certain square, a certain box, because they just weren't having that. Life was not gonna let you do all that. And it's like, overall, I'm slightly disappointed that we let people do that. Something as arbitrary as your hair, we let people govern that. It's like, grow a backbone, bitch. Come on now. You really letting people tell you what to do with your hair? You wish you knew what to do with all this luxurious, curly, kinky creation, bro. White women will wake up early in the morning just to curl their hair. Come on now. And black women will spend twice the amount of time to straighten theirs. Wake up, y'all. Y'all can't be this slow now. And that hits with the same way I want to dress, bro. Like, I be want to dress like a white girl sometimes. And depending on like what that means for you, that might not even mean anything to you really because what does it mean to dress like a race? Like there's no cultural significant difference to that, bro. You're really just picking on me because I'm an individual and because I'm not afraid to be who I am. People got issues with that. People have legitimate issues that I I don't care to conform. I don't need to, I don't, I don't have to, I don't want to. And yet people will consistently find issue to that. I don't know what it is. The influence of it all is crazy though. Because I've gone from being the black sheep, being laughed at, being talked about behind my back, bro. From people going from just completely devastated the way I wear my hair to what I've done with it to damn near idolizing me. There's certain people in my family <laughs> at every function, they literally have nothing other to say to me than a compliment on my, <laughs> giving me compliments on my um, appearance. And true enough, that's how all black families be a lot of the time. A lot of the time it really be annoying because it really shows you got nothing else to talk about other than my visual appearance, my physical appearance, bro. You, you ain't got nothing new other than, oh, you look good, Sky. Even when it's a, like a genuine compliment, it's like, bro, evolve. You need to Pokemon Go evolve on yourself right now because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not entertaining the ignorance anymore. And like going from like living in my in my truest truth and going from being the laughing stock of the family to literally being idolized, being like, oh my gosh, give me some of that hair. It's like you are the same type of people to clown me. Clown me when I cut this John short. And now that it's years later and I progressively grew it out, now now you're like, oh my gosh, well, how do you do that? What what products do you use? That's when you really gotta choose to act dumb for real. Cause people people will play you in your face just to act like it wasn't what it was. You clearly didn't respect me when I like chose to have been myself and had I folded, that's what they want you to do, folks. Socially, if you don't comply, the best they can do is hope you fold. Indoctrinate you into folding. Getting to a point where like you stop believing in yourself for real. And like logically, if you don't have the heart to like get through that, if you don't have the mindset to like push past that, that will affect you. You will sit up there and like think, oh my gosh, am I not good enough? Do I need we do I need a wig? Have I been looking ratchet this whole time? No. No. Stop letting people convince you that being black in all of its blackness isn't good enough. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of hearing that. Is this the intro? I'm so tired of going back and forth with people who like truly have no interest in recognizing that that is a continuous feature amongst black culture. You do not have to feed into this idea that like black people aren't good enough or black people are stupid or black people are, you don't have to have people thinking they can't participate in these predominantly white spaces bro. Like take up space. You're taking a huge L by assuming that you aren't worthy of the space. 
stop doing that. Stop doing that in front of other black people. Cause the act of you doing that is gonna reinforce that type of that type of energy. I literally had to make it a goal. I didn't notice this when nobody said something about this, but it was somebody somewhere who was like, yeah, like certain people will not move out the street for you. They won't, like when you're going down a sidewalk and there's only so much space in the sidewalk, certain people won't move out the way for you. Like they'll take up the whole sidewalk while you feel inclined to collapse into like a single file line if you're with people. They won't do that. And I've noticed they won't do that. You know, other people. I don't know how long I've been silently participating in the idea that I'm not good enough. How far would we would have pushed this narrative without anyone really saying anything about it? In fact, I don't think anybody really had the guts until now to say that, had the backing, the legal backing, the political backing to really be like, yeah, black people, black people deserve to take up space. And if you're not with that, literally, literally get away from me then. Get back, get back, I said. I need more fluffy brushes. I have very minimal fluffy brushes. It's like no one's gonna be inclined to like iron out these ideas of like oppression that we've been dealing with. The backlash of what people who are recovering from this idea that black people aren't good enough. People who are recovering from this idea that like you don't have the right of way in the sidewalk. Like being said out loud, these sound like very, very minute things that like don't even require that much attention or don't require that much acknowledgement to it. But it's like at the same time, like please acknowledge that the historic event of what that was, slavery, racism, inequality, all of that had such an impact on the way life works and the way life has always been working and will continue to work will always have an impact on it. I don't care where you go, I don't care what you do, I don't care how you end up doing it, bro. Like, half the time, I really just be making sure I'm being my authentic self in front of other people, especially in front of other black people and especially in front of young black females because it can be really difficult to understand your value if you literally see nobody else taking up that space you're gonna unconsciously think oh my god i'm taking up too much space let me let me minimize myself and my value let me shrink my hair my hair is taking up too much space in the classroom let me put that away it's like no that was that was the main thing you were supposed to have and yes i do think slowly we're getting there slowly a lot of us are educating ourselves towards how to one care for our hair it's another thing you didn't think about how many black women are just ashamed of the fact that they don't even really know how to do their hair so even if they wanted to wear their natural hair even if they were genuinely proud to you know be a part of the black afro centricism afro dynamic the black people community people really don't be acknowledging how disconnected one could be if you really really didn't have the backing of the whole family. How am I supposed to be a strong black woman if nobody around me feels comfortable enough to be a strong and black woman? It doesn't have to take uh, Maya Angelou every few hundred years to be like, oh yeah, um, we're gonna allow you to feel this way. We're gonna allow you to live life. We're gonna make space, I guess, for you. It's like, I need the energy to be more of like a, no, you've always had a place. I was considering drawing the state of Texas on my, <laughs> damn near my forehead or Africa. I feel like that's a little bit insensitive, but also I couldn't even tell you if I really came from Africa. That's the whole point, bro. That's the whole point, babe. Don't know if I came from Africa or if I've been here the whole time. Been here the whole time. Y'all really think Columbus knew what he was doing? The man was lost at sea, was finna die for real. And here go everyone. Oh my gosh, he found this place. He just discovered this town. We're gonna claim it as our own. I really wish you and everyone you know would stop it. Just stop it. Cause when your great, great, great grandchildren figured out you lied to everyone <laughs> and about everything, they're gonna be the ones who feel such a way about it that they need to take extreme measures to compensate for that lie you told long ago when you think nobody would care. It really wouldn't even be that deep for real, no. You're messing it up for everyone. Please stop. Literally not knowing where you come from, it's not the worst idea in the world, but for people to continue to take great pride into their nationality or things like cultural ideas, religious ideas, 
things that would re require a historic tradition and just valuing culture and life and lifestyle as a whole, bro. Don't think black people don't know they're missing out. We know we are. That Ancestry.com do not work for black people. I'm sorry if you think it does, but when I tell you they weren't keeping up with us like that, bro. What made you think they were keeping up with us like that, bro? They knew how much we were costing as a price more than they would know how old we were individually and who knows by this point it could be a mix of things like logically if you're an african-american from africa but just based in the united states bro there's a good chance you're not even all the way black like directly from the diaspora that's the word i was looking for earlier the black diaspora would lashes even look good on this this is where i'm done But I kind of want to see if lashes would do it for me. Would a lash do it for me? To the degree in which I would want it to do for me? Would I ever say no to putting on a lash? No. Do I really need to stock up on lash glue? Yes. But also I'm trying to get in the market for a new lash. Comment down below what lash glue I should try out. Because it's not that this duo clear stuff don't work for me. I use the, the duo John. It's just I feel like there's better out there. I feel as though there's better out there. And um, I just don't know that yet. I just haven't tried. You ever just have a moment where you like can't really tell which way the lashes are supposed to go? <laughs> me neither. Okay, that's how they supposed to be. <laughs> Post Photoshop. Well, you guys, that is it. You guys had fun with me. I might come back. There's still time. Today is, I'm gonna assume it's the 14th. So there's still time to edit, throw in another video one time. Like, you guys are gonna get this three to four separate lookbooks, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed today's convo for today. I hope you guys are feeling good, being proud to be black, or whatever. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time.